of tier FX <clears throat> coming at you on the 10th I believe no the 9th Friday December 9th uh, post two days in London as you can hear from my voice wow um, you know who let the dogs out uh, saw some old friends had some good times some long lunches some long dinners um, some tomfoolery and a little business was done so it was a good trip but now back uh, in the safety of Switzerland uh, let's take a look at these markets real quick not a ton on the charts directionally we like Aussie higher we've been playing around with short Euro Aussie the last couple of days well first of all we have these yields right Wow, uh, 345 went down to 340 there. Um, this is well below the bull bear line, right? This is just uh, quite dovish down here. We do have PPI today out of the US, 230 Swiss time. That'll be very interesting. Um, but pricing 10 year rates down here, um, this is negative for the dollar. So we like Aussie higher today. Um, I don't think. You need to plunge in at 67.80 here, uh, but accumulate Aussie somewhere, you know, we like it. Probably support's going to be 67.40, which was the pivot breakup yesterday. Um, Aussie's probably going to make a new high today. I think 08 was the low overnight. 68, the figure was the low overnight, and this is 68.50, the this is the range high for the for the last few months. Um, looks like Aussie can continue higher stocks. Our bid. Uh, this is also rates lower, stocks higher. Nazi also bid. Crude on its knees, uh, can't get out of its own way. It tried to bounce up to seventy-five bucks yesterday. Here we are back at seventy-two. Um, crude looks looks weak. Um, we're not a seller of crude down here by any means. We're just pointing out that it's it's weak. I mean, it's probably a buy down here, but we're not fucking around with crude right now. Uh, our horse is Aussie today. Dollar CAD, which is a reflection of this crude move, is up near the highs, but had a pretty bearish day yesterday. So doji on Wednesday, Thursday, red day, new low. Uh, this is worth watching. Do you want to buy CAD? We're already buying Aussie. Um, 3560 is kind of an interesting point. Not really super interesting, but this big red thing here. I guess this is, I don't know what that was. I was at some three hour lunch when that happened. But um, anyway, dollar CAD's a reflection of, of crude. Euro, are we going to make new highs today? Uh, yes. So 93 was the high Monday, I think. Uh, yeah. And today we've been up to 85. Um, are we going to touch 106 today? Yes. Are we going to get acceleration up there? I don't know. I don't think so. It's a similar um, trade as to long Aussie. It's basically just short dollars cable. Um, Kind of in the middle here, 123.50 is the recent highs. Are we going to get a little bit of movement through 70? We have these highs here. I don't know. 122.69, um, 122.766. Don't know. Um, but again, these are all related, right? Aussie higher, Euro higher, cable higher. Pick your poison. Our poison is Aussie today. You could also be short dollar yen. Um, feels like there's kind of a pivot here at the 136 but again we don't need to pile in on every we're not doing a basket trade we're focusing on Aussie but dollar yen should probably go lower where's that 200 day that we were fooling around with um, last Friday right a week ago today pre non farms they smacked the pony um, through that 200 day and then got jerked back higher 200 days at 135 135.02 today um, 
Euro Aussie. We've been short this uh, sort of our mean well our mean reversion program kicked in a couple of days ago. We sold some some good ones square again, but this all blends into the higher higher Aussie right. Euro Aussie looks like it's turned. Uh, this is also a reflection of stronger Aussie Aussie 85 bit as we speak. Aussie yen middle of nowhere. We're not touching that. Euro CAD. Um, this is probably going to make a new high today especially if oil keeps going left but this is a fade up here somewhere I mean the we won't have any signals to 145.40 so probably won't be interested in this today but this is getting super stretchy um, god forbid oil turns oil, if oil turns and starts cruising higher oil, Eurocat is your horse um, again if you don't understand why that is you probably shouldn't be trading FX um, but you know it is what it is euro yen middle of nowhere nothing really to do here dollar swiss this is the one dollar we're not selling we wouldn't sell we've talked about this before on the 93 handle it's it's pretty sticky down here right it just doesn't really move um at high speeds and so we just leave this guy alone you can see there's a bunch of lows here if this was any normal currency um we might be lining up to maybe even trade some sort of momentum style here but because it's dollar swiss we definitely are not doing that um just leave it alone euro swiss also we just leave it alone today euro sterling nothing to do there cad yen feels like it's brewing here right something's gonna happen one way or the other i have a feeling this sucker is gonna go higher which means dollar cad lower cad swiss also brewing down here two doji days in a row um if dollar cad does um, go left hard today some of these crosses will be more of a gentle way to, to reflect that um, why you wouldn't just trade dollar cad i don't know maybe you're like you like cad swiss no idea why we would like cad swiss uh kiwi this is like you know same as the aussie trade not quite as clean, I don't think. Not quite as followed. Not quite as risk sensitive. But same mentality. You could be long Kiwi today. I think you'll be all right. We won't get into this other Muppet show um, because our main focus is just Aussie today. So we're going to be trying to long Aussie, trying to get a good average, uh, try and harvest some pips. We don't think anything massive is going to go on. Obviously, you have to be really cognizant of PPI at 2:30. So you know. You better have a good average at 2.30 or you're just going to have to square up and start again. Um, and let's just see what PPI does. I mean, if this thing comes in soft, um, Euro especially is going to go right. Like, we're getting to one of these moments where it's like a perfect storm. You got rates lower. We got Euro dollar, which is, people are forgetting this is super cheap. You know, Euro historically fair value let's call it 120 118 i think it opened at 116.70 the high has been 160 the low has been 80 120 is your midpoint uh 105 is cheap and people have forgotten because we were trading under one for a while we're still on the cheap side of euro just like sterling even at 122 this is cheap historically um so this could get some energy this could easily get some momentum there's a quick 500 points to 110 um, that could happen very, very quickly. So let's let the price be our guide um, and see how we do here. Anyway, I feel like I'm babbling now. Long Aussie um, and watching closely PPI. Good luck out there, people. Go ahead and make some dough. You deserve it.